Hi friends, good morning and good evening to all of you. So in this video, we will discuss about task fl task flow. So this task flow is similar to our workflow in Informatica Power Center. Okay, as this task we have discussed about mapping task and application task that is similar to your session. Okay, now if I relate this task flow, it is similar to your workflow. Okay, but in IACS along with the task flow, there are some many other options it has been provided in IACS. So let us go through those things. Okay. If you see here, like uh, I will click on this new. So till now what we have done, we have just clicked on mapping, created our mapping source and target connection and directly we have deleted the mapping. Okay. And also what after that what we have done in some videos, we have created mapping task and replication task. Okay. And we, we have directly executed those mapping task also. Okay. Now, so I will go to this task flow option. So in this task flows, okay, we are having number of other task flow which has been provided in IACS, okay. So if you see a linear task, uh, a linear task flow, task flow, parallel task, parallel task with decision, sequential task, sequential task with decision, single task, okay. We will discuss about all these things, okay. But this this task flow is main, like I can say that this is your main task flow, okay, where you can create like uh, I can say that file watcher, okay and mail notification task all these things can be done in this task flow only but iacs has provided some other i can say that uh, new functionality so we, where without doing a very i can say the many complex logic suppose if you have to just call one mapping task so we are having single task okay if you if we are having sequential task okay so let us first discuss about simple thing so in this video first we will discuss about single task so if you see it creates a task flow with a single data integration task okay so what it will do it will provide you template where you can call your mapping task okay with data integration it will, it will just okay let me click on this create button you will see here like it has provided a single task so inside this you can just call only single task okay and that is mainly related for the data replication task only okay now if you see here this is what a task flow okay let me provide it some name okay df single task flow okay single <laughs> task flow okay it's a single task flow okay now so we are having one start and end thing okay now if i click on this data task okay so i will put uh, let it be as it is okay if you uh, see these options okay so inside that uh, you have to click on in general if you, you have to provide its name if i talk about data task <coughs> so what we can do here from here you can select all of your task we are discussing about task flow inside the task flow we are having data task uh, from the data task we, we you can select your task which you have created in previous videos so here we have created suppose mapping task mapping uh, empty rank transformation task okay all these things we have created so let us uh, select this thing empty rank transformation so what is this empty rank transformation this empty rank tra transformation is a ta mapping task which is calling your m rank transformation mapping okay and let me run this thing if you see i, I have selected this okay so that's all we have to just save very simply we have just saved it and we will just go and execute it okay so till the time it is running if you see here we have task we have called single task this single task is calling your empty rank transformation so let me go here okay till the time it is running If you see this arrow button, it's a yellow. So till now it's running. Once it got succeeded, it would so it should show you success. Okay. It's still running right, right now. So till the time it is running, let me uh, tell you what we have done here. First of all, there is a mapping. Okay. Uh, this mapping is called by mapping task okay and this mapping task is called by your single this mapping is called by your single 
task flow okay so mainly this is the our flow mapping then mapping task then task flow so in the task we are having number of option like we we, we, we might be having mapping task replication task and uh, synchronization task so what we have called from there we have called mapping task and this mapping task is has been called in inside the task flow inside the task flow we are having option of single task task flow okay so i hope it should got completed let me refresh it yeah it has been refreshed okay so you see here it has been completed okay so <laughs> so what we have <coughs> from this task what we have called uh, uh, here like data task sorry inside the data task what we have called here we have called empty rank transformation okay let me copy this thing so, so that you can better understand okay so you can go to explore option okay so in the default this is my main folder okay if you see here this empty rank transformation okay so this is this is my mapping task okay and this mapping task is calling my the, which mapping m rank transformation okay so this is my main mapping okay which is running so on top of this mapping we have created one task we, what we call we, which task we have created we have created a mapping task okay so what we, what we might have done first of all we, we might have created one mapping from here after that first of all we have get mapping from here then we could have went to two mapping task okay and after that uh, like uh, we have created this task flow and from this task flow we have we have selected which option single task okay and from this single task we have called that mapping task so that's all from this video thank you